Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Salty Sweet Games, where we shenanigan sob and smooch our way through tabletop role-playing games. I'm one of your hosts, Salty. And I'm Sweet. And these various assorted spices are our friends. Welcome to Masks of Nyarlathotep, our long-running eldritch horror meets pulp action campaign. Before we go around and meet everyone in their characters, we have some channel shout outs. Firstly, a ton of thanks to our sponsors, starting with Roll20, a virtual tabletop of choice, which unites gamers across any distance with easy to use tools that run straight from your web browser for free. We are part of their ambassador program, which highlights indie tabletop creators all across the interwebs. We are also affiliates with Dice Envy and Grinding Coffee Co. So if you like your shiny math rocks, if you like your soaked bean energy juice, then you will like these companies. They're great to work with. We have affiliate links and discount codes. If you want to support us further, we have tip incentives that are listed down below that can seriously impact the game. That's right. You go to the Affect the Game panel. That's right. There are lists down there of like what you can do. And now there's a hype train. Is everybody feeling the hype? I'm containing it right now because I've been buzzing about this session for two weeks. Buzzing. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Um, so thank you, everyone, for being as hype as I am. We really appreciate it you all. Uh, last thing we here at Salty Sweet Games use safety tools, lines, veils, X, N, and O cards, stars and wishes, and content warnings because while the player, <laughs> no, the characters, while the characters may die today, the players are here to have fun and they're our priority always. So we should probably meet them. Let's start with Kiana. Hello from my brand new place. Hey. Surprise, different background. It's probably going to change over the next couple of weeks as I figure shit out. Um, but yeah, I'm here. I'm the speed of the channel. I'm Kiera. My pronouns are she and they. But today I am back playing Irene Blackwell, whose pronouns are she and her. Um, yeah. We might die today. Yes. You might. Which is totally cool and fine. It's fine. So... Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just going to say chat, just, just be here for the ride. If you want to help us, don't there's, talk there's, to chat. There's some tip stuff. Don't Listen, address chat. I, I am allowed to cash in my one charge to talk to chat thing. <laughs> You're one shill over two and a half years. We did it, folks. My one single shell. You know, Wait, you know we only had one. <laughs> you know it's bad when if Kiana, Kiana only had one. <laughs> yeah, you know it's bad if Kiana is nervous when they have like seven rerolls stocked up. Ridiculous. Uh, thank you, Hawk, for those vitamins. Thank you very much. Let's go over to Allison. Hi. I'm Allison. I play Ganymede Graves, adventure scientist. Once the archetypical woman of the age of rationality and progress, now she who surrenders to the madness, to fight the madness, or I might like to add, to run away from the madness. That is also a thing that you can do in mm. this game. Mm. Just putting it out It there. might be the thing the game encourages you to do more than anything else, but we're playing pulp, so all that is out the window. It's still run. <laughs> Gonna go down to summer. What? Um, hi, it's me. I love that Kiana only got one shill and I got a shill printer. I don't know what the difference was in the contracts that we signed there, Kiana, but I just get as many as I want. Um, hi, it's me, Summer. I use she, her pronouns. And today I'm playing one Mr. Charlie Rap who uses he, him pronouns. And he's fine. And no mm. one needs to worry about it or think yeah. about hit points or sanity. They're or fine. anything like that because all of that is totally fine and normal and better than Seb's and so like not that it's a competition Tommy but if it were I'd be winning um <laughs> anyway uh I'm very concerned mm -hmm. um about today's session but not necessarily about dying because as we know Charlie 
can never die. So many things have tried to kill him and nothing has. And today will be no different. Nothing can kill him. He will live forever. And I'm so excited to continue my journey with him <laughs> moving into the future to the end of the cam campaign. So good luck to everyone else. I hate to see you go. I love to watch you leave. Uh, uh, mm, last but not least, Tommy, any response? Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very confused. Um, I'm also knocking on wood for you, so, <laughs> so hi, I'm Tommy <laughs> at Imperator Penguin's Mystery. I play Zebulon Augustine Claiborne Montgomery III, who has 7 HP going into this room with hundreds and hundreds of cultists. We're fine. Things are fine. You yeah, know, if you yeah. want to help us out, um, very appreciated, you know, just, you know, running low on stuff and, you know, we'll see, we'll, we'll see how Roll20 feels about me today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, we will. And very, very soon. Uh, all right. If you are joining us for the first time, or the first time in a long time, this motley crew is trying to stop an apocalyptic event from occurring. Their journey started when their good friend Jackson Elias was murdered for investigating the infamous Carlisle expedition, the members of which were all formerly presumed dead. Since then, they've uncovered a global conspiracy involving various death cults who all worship different aspects of the same eldritch god. Many names, many forms, but all the same end to one end. This has taken them from Peru to New York to England, Shanghai, Australia, and now to Egypt. The cults were working together to build a machine to rupture and taint the sky, but our heroes stopped that part of the plan. But it ain't over. The cults in Africa, and perhaps elsewhere, are still thriving and preparing for the Great Ritual on January 14th, 1926, 120 days from Wednesday, September 16th, 1925, the night of the Resurrection Ritual of Nitocris. Last time, the group made their final preparations. Ganymede summoned Living Flame, capable of destroying the crown of Nitocris, while Zebulon faithfully watched over her. Charles and Irene finally confessed their love for each other. Uh, the bribe that Salim suggested worked, and in the dead of night, the group found a hidden door in the secret burial chamber. The tunnels beneath the pyramids affected them all in different ways, but eventually they came upon the site of the ritual. The Great chamber of Nyarlathotep loomed before them. Creatures with human bodies and animal heads blocked their path, as did 200 or so members of the Brotherhood, including Henry Clive and Martin Winfield. Nigel Wasif and James Gardner hung above a pool rippling with hundreds or thousands of hungry somethings. Further ahead, the high priest Omar al-Shakti stood next to a bound and kneeling Agatha Broadmoor, eyes rolled back in her head, both in front of an altar holding a mummy, and behind it, Zara Shafiq, wearing the girdle, necklace, and crown of Nitocris. Now, a breath. At the top of the stairs, our four companions... Below them, obscene chaos. What would you like to do, investigators, in this moment you have? Ganymede fades back into the shadows so as not to be seen from above. And I think she's been in the, in the lead. And turns around to look at the rest of you and she just shakes her head slowly. Well, uh, 
That's a hell of a lot of weirdos in there. We gotta get our Gotta get our friends out of there, though. I feel like. Yanimid looks back over her shoulder as if hoping that she's going to see something different. And she turns back and just looks at Zeb and says, There are hundreds of them. Yep. I just, I would hate to have gotten someone else involved in this again and have them lose their life without really this being their fight got any tricks up our sleeves <laughs> um Lauren how like all these people right they're all facing towards the sarcophagus right mm -hmm. towards like the mummy are they chanting? Are they talking? What's the vibe? Because like in Shanghai, everybody was like very preoccupied with yeah. like what was happening. Yeah. Many have hands linked and uh, with the exception of Martin and Henry and these creatures, you think the only problem these cultists probably present is getting through them. They're probably going to make uh, getting where you want to go difficult, um, but much like Shanghai, they are very preoccupied with the ritual that is already started, by the way. Um, yeah, Charlie, pretty much the moment he saw Zara was like plotting his path through the cultists um, trying to like find the path of least resistance even if it's the furthest way around um, yeah he hasn't really he's not really paying attention to the others what they're talking about or anything mm -hmm. like that he's like if anything he's like inching forward like more towards the group of cultists mm-hmm This breath of grace is running out. If there's anything anyone wants to say or do right now, do it. Ganymede, Ganymede puts her hand on your on your shoulder, Charlie. And and if you don't turn around, she'll pull you around. Charles. No. Charles, this, this is not Trafalgar. We're not Lord Nelson. This is Waterloo. Oh, can't hear you, Summer. I, I made a promise that I would help get her out of this. And this is it. This is the last chance. You don't have to come. Irene, as Charlie says that, I think you can't help but hear Jack Brady's voice once again. 
just to stumble at the ten yard line. Whatever we do here, we have to. We either have to commit fully or we have to have a back out plan. We know there's another place out there. We know that Egypt is not the only location here in Africa. You know, this is not the final place. If we're going to do something, we have to all be on it to survive it. And we have to know when we have to leave. I don't feel right leaving. No offense, you're not doing anything, but. We have to try to make it to the finish line. And I don't think this is it yet. Below, you can see two of those creatures pulling back the kind of almost like fishing rods that uh, Nigel and James are attached to, pulling them back away from the pool. And you can see the tension in the rod as they're getting ready to spring it toward the pool. So are they both currently... Are they currently still over the pool no they've been or... pulled back okay so they're far enough <clears throat> for now but i need to know now before this pops off if there's any any last thing anyone wants to say or do because we're gonna go into it um I think Irene just looks at Charlie and she knows that he's made up his mind and just squeezes his hand. Yeah. He returns the squeeze and kind of just smiles a little bit at Irene. It's like very resigned. Like he's like, well, if this is how it is going to go, this is how it's going to go. I think... Zeb also sighs, knowing Charles has made up his mind and kind of understanding at the same time, sort of where you are if you're trying to save someone. Zeb sort of stands up next. Try to save him, but we get out if we have to, Charles. It's a whole lot of people that need saving. I would never blame any of you for turning back. I don't think you know us very well if you think we're just going to leave you here. I, I didn't say that. But if it looks bad, I expect you to do what you have to do to live. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Lauren, those figures on the on the map that are uh -huh. in the corners oh, near us. Speaking of the map, let's let's head over to the map. There we are. Beautiful. We love it. We love to see it. Yes. What about them? Are those? Are those creatures? Yeah. And they are in the same zone as you, by the way. I will explain that once we are committed. Everybody else has something to say. Ganymede, do you 
don't want to say or do or think anything. Ganymede looks at you, Charlie, and says, You're a fool, you know. And then she's going to turn around and walk in. Yeah, he gives you this massive, like, shit-eating grin. Like, big, winning smile. His charm, his most charming smile. Perfect. So, here we go. As we begin... Because of the intervening figures and pervading darkness of the Great Hall, the use of ranged weapons is compromised. Treat each range increment as the one above so normal becomes long, long becomes very long. Also, the place is big. If you want to move into the next zone, the zones are those green lines if you want to move into the next zone uh, it will take your move all your movement and all of your action but you can move anywhere in the zone you're in for free also formerly known as spank my betty has uh given two heals or sanity for whoever needs them most i think we're gonna hey, do the i wonder who would that would be. i think we'll do the heals for the Boils, uh, that's 1d8 each. So go ahead Heal and roll for those. the boys. Because we are starting. Right. 1d8. Yep. <gasps> Very wow! nice. Um, I'm basically back up to... F oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> it's, one, it's, it's, not fair. <laughs> it's one of those days. It's one of those days. Roll again and minus one it. Because I'm feeling nice. I don't want to spank my buddy to go to waste. Okay. Great. Four instead. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for I'm the at, heal, though. That's great. I'm, I'm at very, freaking thank you. 15 HP. My max is 20. I'm vibing now. Vibing. Oh, my God. That moment. Of... <clears throat> All righty. And, and also, one last thing. I know my where I normally sit in turn order at... 70 but i also have my shotgun drawn so yeah i guess technically i have to give the plus 50. i know it's not I, relevant but i, I would don't like to really say, think it's relevant though it's not relevant for me either but just so everyone knows i'm never surprised in combat because yes. i'm very alert yes all right so no. ganny made graves you're up first <laughs> After, after Charlie gives her that shit-eating grin, all she can think is, if I survive this, I am going to punch that face so hard. I'm going to walk up to this first, I'm just going to walk up to this very first creature that's mm -hmm. closest to me. Mm -hmm. um, and as I walk, I'm going to yell, Hello, Mr. Al Shakti. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna give that creature both barrels. Yeah, so My this... hope here is distraction. Okay. The creature uh in front of you is tall, like well over six feet, and the head is that of a crocodile. Great. Great. So go ahead, go for it. Um so remember. Um, you're in the same zone, so I don't think you can like walk right up to it. So that's what I'm doing. So that's just what a I'm doing. regular shot. Uh, alrighty. Seriously, re -roll. malfunction. Oh well, what? if you want to re remember, you're fucking cursed. Uh, malfunction. Where does my malfunction start? Seventy-five, baby. God, dang. Yeah, no, uh, I'm. But totally you can re-roll. Re yeah. Click it again to see if it's bugged, but if it's not, then that is crazy. Are you kidding me. It's not bugged. 
So that was a you are failure. In real life too. <laughs> that was a dud. We know this is a dud from uh, from the rules when when the this shotgun um, malfunctions. Great start, strong start. It uh, just goes click right in the face of this crocodile. Uh, right. Fantastic. Right. I'm I'm so pleased. Now yeah, we get that look of of Ganymede's eyes just get kind of. Actually, they don't. It's just kind of the, as she hears the click and looks up at the <laughs> crocodile-headed creature. Fantastic. Irene Blackwell, you're up. You share initiative with Omar, but uh, for, right. now, Omar, for now, Omar is uh, busy. Maybe, maybe softly chuckling to himself, but he's occupied. Yeah, well, of course he is. Um, I'm just going to start moving. Um, the okay. goal is to get to our... our our friends. Okay, so you, you want to enter the next zone with your movement and your action. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just booking it, and Great. hopefully in this case also kind of being distracted because I'm just going. <laughs> yeah. New. Okay, fantastic. Omar's busy. That doesn't apply yet. It's Martin Winfield's turn. Yeah. Martin. 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 Nobody look at that. That's private as I display it for everyone to see. Where are my notes? Oh, okay. Let me look up one thing. Just to see, just to see if it's relevant. Ah, okay. No. And one more. Okay, great. Has to wait till y'all are closer. Um, so Martin is going to move into that zone with his action towards you. And you see now from underneath his robes, he whips out a shotgun. Because why not? Fantastic. Charles Rapp, you're up, my friend. Ooh, yeah, I'm moving. Okay. I move, I move, I move. I go fast. Great. You're yeah. in the next zone with Irene. Sick. It's Henry Clive's turn. Uh, Henry Clive will move into the next zone. We love to see it. Zebulon Augustine Claiborne Montgomery the third. Oh, man. Um... Huh. I think Zeb's gonna back Ganymede up. Um, and mm, maybe work on the other figure here with the yeah, sword. Take yeah. a swing at it with the sword. Yeah. Um, good. Sort of draws the sword. Just comes out swinging. <clears throat> I love it. I love to see it. Go for it. So I'm so good at the sword. Uh, okay. Would you like to re-roll? I have so few re-rolls. As this um, jackal-headed figure kind of pants down at you. I'll, oh, I'm so bad at this. I'll use one. Okay. Let's we'll see how it goes. You hear that chat? We oh need my more. god! Oh, hey, uh, oh, let's that's go. a hard success. Alrighty, so uh, roll your damage. I think it's on the handout or in your. I meant to roll my sword, my sword, sword, and not the sword skill, but six. Fantastic! Fantastic! The magical blade slices through the jackal. And it's so odd. It's like you can't really tell where it, like you wish it could be like a Halloween mask that you could rip off, but the, the skin, you know, just like transforms into like that fur um, that you see. Good. 
It's their turn. Aren't we all excited? Yes, I am. I don't know about you, but I'm very excited. I'm always excited. So. The crocodile is going to bite at Ganymede Graves. Ah, but shall fail. Fortunately, snaps at you, but you know, you bring up the shotgun and buff it off. Uh, and the jackal is going to bite at Zebulon for a success. Would you like to dodge or fight back? Hey. It's just a regular success, so all you need is, um, well, you need a hard because their skill is higher than yours. What's the, what would I be rolling for fight back? Uh, you'd be rolling with your sword again. Oh, man. Um, you could also dodge, thing. or you could just take the damage. Because yeah. if, if I do dodge or fight back, then I don't do my next turn. Nope. Right? That's nope. that. Nope. Um, I will fight back. Do it. Go for it. It's the same for me either way. And if I can do more damage, I can. Come on. Come on, roll 20. Oh, man. All right. So close. So it reaches out as you are finishing the swing of your sword. Uh, the yellow uh, teeth uh, just rip a bit along your arm. So that's three damage for you. You are... Have one ugly mug there. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, the crocodile nearest to Charlie is going to snap at him. What? But fail. I'm so fast. Yeah, you yeah, guys are some. zooming. It's hard. And the cat is going to claw at Irene. Yeah, there. Miss. Very good. Oh, very good. <gasps> Fantastic. Uh, the others are busy. Oh, no, they're not. I'm sorry. That's why this one is still in this zone. Put them over here. The two ahead uh, let loose of the poles they are holding down with Nigel and James. And Nigel and James swing towards the pool. Someone want to make a luck roll for me? Shot I. Hell yeah, I fucking love luck rolls. <laughs> okay, go for it. So, with an extreme success, <laughs> uh, they go low, but they don't touch the water. But you hear both of them scream as it seems they see something in the pool. Um, so, the momentum kind of will bring them back. Uh, but they didn't go into the pool this round. Very oh nice. Oh my god, you're welcome. <laughs> Very oh nice. God. And that brings us to the end of round one. Ganymede Graves, you're up. Um, as it snaps at me, I'm I'm in the process of reloading, mm -hmm. and I just I just I don't think I look up. I'm just kind of as I but I say as I'm reloading, I say, "Let's try that again, shall we?" Go for it. Hey, there you go. Sixteen damage. damage. You 16 damage. Blow the crocodile away. Crocodile brains pff, against the wall. Dead. Nice. Um, I'm going over. I'm, I'm going to use my movement here to get over uh, near uh, Zeb. Okay. To help him with that one or to yeah. be another target. Yeah. Great. Irene. I am booking it towards Nigel because I we see the swing of the rod mm -hmm. um, and the momentum back and she's 
determined to get them before they swing back in. Nice. I love it. Um, great. You can move into the next zone with your action passing by Martin Winfield. Um, <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Omar is busy. They don't have a turn this time. Martin. We're all very excited. Martin is going to move up toward Charlie. Um, and what? Martin, yeah. <laughs> mm. Busy. He could do any of his spells. No. Or so he can shotgun you. I like the idea of shotgunning you. They all sound terrible, honestly. <laughs> I hate uh, all of it. Yeah. That is a success. It's a regular success. Uh, would you okay. like to dodge? Yes, I'd like to dodge. Yeah. I'm so bad at dodging. It's okay, Charlie. You can do anything. <laughs> I'm going to reroll. Okay. Fucking hell. So um, I'm going to say he's not in melee with you. So we're only doing... So we're doing, I mean, he is, but it's, don't worry about it. That's five points of damage with cool. the shotgun. Sure. Ouch. It hurtied a little yes. bit. Yes. Fantastic. We love to see it. It's your turn though. Now accepting more health rolls. What do you want to do? I'm, le I'm leaving. I'm going to the next getting away okay. by continuing moving forward, not even looking at this man as he shoots me. Yeah. Maybe that's why I did so bad. It's because I was just moving. I wasn't even sure. like, paying attention. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna move forward. Great. And now Henry Clive is there. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, let me... Henry Clive is going to cast a spell at you. At me? Yeah. You, Let me yeah. alone. No. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just minding my own business. Oh. Okay, yeah. There's no uh, roll. It just... He has to use his magic points. Pretty Great. Short. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you so, sure there's no roll? I'm sure... Let me make sure that's right. So Henry Clive uh, chanting uh, brings his hands up and then points one finger at you, Charles. And a bolt of lightning extends from his finger straight for you. Four, four points of damage. So fun, you guys could easily help me help, help, help. I don't wanna die. You're fine. I'm not fine, I'm not fine. I have six hit points, that's not a lot. That's not many. Who's doing better than Zeb now, huh? Okay, well, <laughs> you're standing at the back, okay? And it so, is Zebulon's turn. Um. Yeah, Zeb. Yeah. yeah I think Zeb's like, looks at the sword. He's like, you know what? Fuck this. And I think he takes out the lightning gun. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna shoot this thing with the lightning gun. Okay, how many charges? Uh, just one. Okay. Just one charge. Yeah, we're not we're not overdoing it yet. All right, come on, come on, roll twenty. Oh man. Would you like to re-roll that? I have one re-roll, so no. Okay. <laughs> no, you can save yeah, that. it just kind of fires off into one of those black columns. Uh, that gets scorched white by the lightning gun. Sit still, dang it. Uh, fantastic, it's their turn. The jackal is going to leap at you, try to bite you again. For a, what the heck? 
for a success, do you want to dodge or fight back? Um. I'll try and dodge. Go for it. Oh, man. Nope. This is one of those days. Alrighty, so that's four points of damage. How you doing? Great. Good. Um, yeah. It's so good. And that is the end of the second round. Getting me graves. Oh, I, having seen what it's just done to Zeb, um, I will shoot it. I think, wait, who's, who's this guy just strolling up the middle of the place like he, Martin, like he owns it. That's Martin. Oh, uh, we did get re-rolls from Cassiopeia, though there were, uh, I think six in that. So everybody gets one and then whoever are the lowest can have another one, each the two lowest. Me and me and Tommy. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> that seems fair. Thank you so much, Alexis. It's such a sweet message. We're so happy you're here at the end. Ganymede, what were you doing? <laughs> the end of all things. I, what did, and what did I just see Martin do? He, he shot Charlie with a shotgun. Oh yeah. No, no. Um, that won't do. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go engage him. Okay. So he's in the next zone. So it's going to be long distance for you to shoot from the zone you're in. And if I move to the next one, I lose my action, right? It's a big place. There are a lot of people. (sighs) This is just bad. This is just real, real bad. Um, All right, I will shoot the jackal-headed creature. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, nice. And do you nearly take it out? Uh, I think you blow like like a chunk of uh, the furry part of it away and the rest of it is matted with blood. Uh, But you can get up there to it if you want to get in the way of it getting Zeb. I want, no, actually, I want to get between Martin and Zeb. Oh, sure. Yeah. Fantastic. You can definitely do that. Irene Blackwell. Yep. Uh, Am I, I look at this map. I'm in the same zone as Nigel. Yes. (laughs) Yes. So you can move up to him for free. I would love to help him out. Okay. So you're going to go up to him. The the cat, uh, another cat-headed creature is there and is the one who's pulled him back. So how do you want to, how do you want to help? Nigel's yeah, tied so, to this pole. So tied to the pole itself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I really... See, I don't want to fight the creature right now, but it could have been, let's go. And right. that's going to send Nigel in right yep. now. Um, I would love to just get up and if we're going really fast, loosening the binds, I'm taking out my my gun and shooting the rope. Oh, to try sure. To, to just undo it, get him off of that fucking pole. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. What do I want for this? Because obviously, like, he's not just tied at, like, one point. There, It's a bunch yeah. of rope. So, uh, but you can shoot multiple times. Yeah. Uh, so, just, just uh, give me, give me some. In terms of, pri- in terms of priority, I'm, yeah. if we're looking at momentum and pulling, yeah. his feet are going to be last. Because if he's at the top here, that's, uh-huh. and he slides off of it, then it's unlikely that he's going to fall all the way in. Um, if the pole does end up flipping back because his feet will be closest to the bottom. <laughs> uh, sure. If so, you just think of, if you think of how a, a thing works, right? If your feet are down here and your head's yeah, up here, yeah. if you want to prevent someone from going in, yeah. 
you want to get rid of, you want to free them up here. Because if they do, if the poll does end up going forward, then this whole part of them will not be going in. Great. I love the, Good. Yes. So your feet, get, not the full crumb. Yeah. Give me some shots and we'll see just based on. Yep. It's not like you're missing, but. Um, That's how effective it yes, is. Yes, exactly. So just give me, it's like you're fanning the hammer basically. Okay. Two. Right. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So okay. Just so those first two. Yeah. No, those are all great. Those are all wonderful. Um, I'm going to say you got two hard successes in a regular. I'm going to say you can free him. Bang, 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 bang. The ropes um, like are so easy to get apart. Uh, he's able to kind of struggle off and roll onto the floor next to you and this beast. And he, and he looks up at you. You know, his mustache is all askew. I think one side of his, you know, his beautiful, beautifully yeah. coiffed hair is sticking up. And he says, I never thought I'd be so glad to see all of you. <laughs> Fantastic. But you can tell there was just gratitude exuding off of him. Uh, yes. Perfect. <laughs> beautiful. Lovely. Omar's busy. We won't worry about him. The things in the pool don't go. It's Martin's turn. Hmm. Uh, Martin's going to shoot at you, Ganymede. Obviously, it's only long range. Uh, so. Let me check something in my rules real quick. Oh, so he needs to get a hard because he's not in the same zone as you. So he needs to get a hard. Which he did. Uh, would you like to dodge or fight back? Dodge? Uh, um, no, actually. Okay. Well, I guess I don't know how you could fight back. I don't know if you can fight back with... Oh, because I can't range. get to him. Yeah, you can't get to him. So I think we're looking at a dodge here. Or, you know, a dive for cover. Um, um, though I that would, does... I would need an extreme on the dodge, right? Uh, what the is your dodge shot. score? 42. Yes, you would need an extreme. Okay. Oh, do you, okay. Do you want to reroll? No. Okay, it's only 1d6 at the range he's at for now. That's why. Four. All right, then. And I think of this, like, uh, the amount of damage this is doing, this is more like, you know, HP is malleable, but some some things hit you, some bits of the blast. Yep. Um, great. That's Martin's turn. Charlie, you're up, buddy. Road runner, all the way. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't look back. Keep going. Next I'm running zone. forward. Okay. Hi guys. I don't know who you guys are in the pool, but I hope you're fine. Hope like. You're fine. Oh, bye. Yeah, um, but I'm gonna just continue great. sprinting. I'm just going as fast as I can. My eyes are boom, laser focus on mm -hmm. Zara. Henry Clive again is going to summon that magic but point it your direction irene there is no world associated with this so three points of damage to you it's very very the emperor um very emperor palpatine this lightning i love it zebulon it's your turn oh, man um How's this critter looking? It's so hurt. So hurt. It's hanging on by a thread. <sighs> I imagine like, like part right. of its jaw got blown off. Yeah. All right. You know what? We're just going to do this the old fashioned way. And Zed brings out the brass knuckles. Hey. I love it. My brawl is so much better than everything else. <laughs> and I'm going to punch it. I love it. Go for it. Knuckles. Like, all right, we're just gonna. And he does. He does do the. He does crack his knuckles. Uh, let's do this the old-fashioned way. Nice. Let's go. What's the damage on that? Uh, brass knuckles. 
It doesn't matter. He has one hit point. Okay. Yeah. Just Zeb just lines up a punch and just takes the rest of his jaw off. <laughs> just nice. I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, I should have never left you, girl. (laughs) 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 Great. Uh, It's the children of the Sphinx's turn. Um, These two are going to cross into, whoops, into your territory. Actually, this one will stay here. Uh, I don't want it to do anything yet. Uh, The cat... And the vulture are going to converge. Um, The vulture is going to grab Nigel. Try to anyway. Uh, But it's going to miss him. He's slippery. He's like, not again. (laughs) Um, And Nigel, the cat is going to try to claw you. Ooh, no, the cat is going to grab you. Um, if it can. The cat grabs you. This is what happens. It, uh, just around your arms and you can feel its claws sinking in that they don't hurt you. Uh, but it grabs you right by the pool. I imagine like slow motion. Yes, it's it's that moment. It's slow motion. The camera is like whirling around as everyone can see this. And that, oh no, I'm sorry. Let me attack Charlie. Um, the jackal. Oh no, the so jackal. Unnecessary. The jackal. The jackal is going to let loose uh, James's pole again. I need someone else to make a luck roll. Sure. Go for it. Wow. (laughs) Uh, Would you like to re-roll? You have. have, Yeah, you have. You have. You have ten. Like, calm down. Christ. (laughs) Do you want to use another one? Sure. Why the fuck not? All right. Please live, James. Hey, oh all God. right. He is loose back, getting ever closer, but not quite getting submerged. Okay, just mark those two off. Yes. A poor it's man. Okay, yeah. do. Put him in us, danger. Yeah. Let us be honest. Out of all the NPCs, we could lose. <laughs> James is kind of lower on that. Wow. Yeah, I, would just we like just, for him I love to James. Live. We've known him for like... Two seconds. Two seconds. And that... <laughs> Is the end of round three. Ganymede Graves, what are you doing? Ganymede looks back at at Zeb and says, I'll take you care sh- of the cat. No, she says, you should go. And she's going to turn her back on you. And I'm just walking calmly over to this one that's came up that, yep. that entered our zone. And I'm going to give it both barrels this time. That's hot. Do it. Nice. Okay. <sighs> um, so the second one is a dud, but... I'm re-rolling it. Uh, are you sure? You want to wait till I, till I finish? Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. You blow it away. Yeah. It's dead. Nice. Okay. Um, I will reload so i've got yeah. rounds in both chambers and turn to face i'm just kind of standing in the middle my legs are apart a little bit superhero pose facing down martin mm-hmm. and covering for zeb because sincerely he should leave yeah irene blackwell you are currently being held by the cat me. Um, I'd love to get out. Yeah, I I'm gonna let you try to get out, but I am going to give you would you like a penalty die or would you like having to get a hard success? Ooh. It's probably gonna be like a dexterity. Yeah, okay. Um I I'd let you do a dexterity, a strength or dexterity. Yeah, okay. So let's do dex and let's do uh, love having to to figure out in my head quickly. Um, 
Let's do a penalty die. Okay. Nice. Yes. Okay, okay. So it's a regular success. Yeah, you get out you get out of its grasp. You know, drop down or something. Whatever yeah. you do. Um, but that is your action. I think it's probably like she's she's wearing some form of like over Ooh, layer yeah. and so it's just like slide out of that. <laughs> I <Goodbye>, like coat. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> and Nigel looks at you. I hate this place. You should probably start running. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, and okay. he he will. I'll have him act on your turn. He's going to run to the next zone. Yeah, she's like, please, out. Yeah. Get out. Omar's busy. They don't have any food yet. Martin. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, he'll come after you. That's what you want. Um, but he's not that moving into boy. your zone, so he needs a hard success. It's a but he does not get it. Uh, for whatever reason, you easily get out of the way, kind of sizing up his fighting style. I I laugh. I laugh. I mean, it's 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 not like it's not like intended to be a goading laugh. It's really just like. This is so bad. All I can do is is laugh, but I'm just facing him down. Awesome. Charlie, you're up. I'm sprinting. Mm-hmm. Moving All right. forward. You get to the I'm next headed. zone. I just I love the image of like James be like, oh, good, you're here to help me. And then Charles just runs past him. I do a poll. He can't even see me. It's very crowded in here. Mm -hmm. um, Agatha is chanting, right? She No, her eyes are rolled into the back of her head. But she's not chanting. She's not moving. She's just standing there with her eyes rolled back. It, it, she's kneeling. Her eyes are rolled back. It looks like something's going on. I, regardless, I asked my tarot if she is necessary to the whatever is happening, and uh -huh. they said yes. So I'm making my way to her. Okay. You're in the next zone, but your progress is... There's people. Yes. Around. It's fine. All right. Henry Clive shoots another lightning bolt. It sounds so silly, but I think that it's like constant like static and little flares along his hands as, uh, as he does it. Uh, at you, Irene, for three points of damage. Zeb, you're up. Okay. Um, the lightning gun has a mm -hmm. hundred yard range. Yes. Does that mean I can shoot into the next zone? Okay. At usually. At at. At, at Martin, I'm gonna say yes because obviously he's close. Um. Yeah. I'm going to say yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 100 yards is a long way. Yes, it it's is. It's a long, it's a long way. <laughs> it's like um, 300 feet. <clears throat> Zeb's like, oh, come on, Ganymede. You know, I'm not, I'm not leaving without y'all. <laughs> what do you think you're saying? And just pulls up the gun and I'm going to put two charges into this shot. Okay. At, at, um, Marty. Sorry, which one? M Mar yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to use real. Okay. I'm going to use real. Oh, come on. Roll 20. You want to use that much luck? No. No. I can't. Okay. I can't. So you've used three charges, so you have five left? No. Yeah. Great. Uh, yeah, the lightning gun arcs across. Just work with me. Fight. <laughs> Children of the Sphinx, uh, this crocodile will now move into your zone, uh, but it can't attack you. Uh, the cat and the vulture 
are going to work together to grab you, Irene. Um, so they're going to have a bonus die. Ah, but they don't get it. <laughs> they both are like running at you, trying to grab onto you. <laughs> That's amazing. Ooh, ooh. So slippery, so slippery. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, and no, that one's technically, uh, this one's going to join you in this zone, but it can't attack. Uh, oh no, no, I'm sorry. No, it's not. What am I talking about? It's fine that you're there. Uh, it's going to uh, release James again. Either Allie or Tommy need to make a luck roll now. What's yours? 35. Oh shit, I guess I will make it. <laughs> Hard success, very nice. Um, I'm, oh, never mind. Yeah, um, uh, so again, how many lives does James Gardner have? We'll see, but it's one more at least as he swings back again. You can see like the top, like his hair is now wet. Uh, his nose has like touched the pool, but he has not been submerged. Um, that's the end of round four. Ganymede Graves, what are you doing? Oh, you know, I'll give it both barrels again here. Yeah. As long as they keep coming to me, I'm gonna keep shooting Sure. Them. Dead. Blown away. Oh. Blown away. Nice. <laughs> from the back, from the staircase. I love it. It's gorgeous. Yeah. So There's good. so many there. There is just so much bish around yeah. right in one area. <laughs> right in that area. As Ganymede yeah. defends alongside fighting back to back with with Zebulon. It's beautiful. Irene, it's your turn, you lucky son of a gun. I am so like I am getting the fuck out of that sure. spot. You wanna go to the next zone? <laughs> I'm going to the next zone. Ah, nice. Alright. Oh Mars. Busy. They don't give any food. It's Martin Winfield's turn. He is going to shoot at you, Ganymede. Actually I just feel like he needs to do a little magic. What do I have him have? Do it, do it. Oh, uh, those both aren't do close it. enough, unfortunately. You'd have to get in your zone, and why would he do that? Aw. Aw. So. When you want to do magic, but you're not is. close enough. Sad. Yeah. He shoots again to no avail. Charlie Rapp, what are you doing? I'm going over to Agatha. You're trying to, unfortunately. I'm going over there. As you approach, you bump into something that you can't see. Sure. I try to go. You want to try to get through? Okay, I need. Yeah, what is to. it for the barrier alley? Is it a strength check? It's uh, power. Yeah, hold on. No, it's, it's, a, it's a no. It's a strength check against the strength of the barrier. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Let me do some. It's a, a strength roll opposed by the strength of the barrier. Yes. What's the strength of the barrier? Uh, I'm not telling you. Okay. Well, my strength is great, so. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay, and I'll use a reroll if I have to. Uh huh. Hard success. Hard success. <laughs> okay. I win. <gasps> what? You try to push through the barrier, but it's it's incredibly strong and you can feel the the power coming off of it. As you kind of like beat against it. Uh, Zara, you can see her through it and she is like, she is conscious. She's got something in her hand. Right. Uh, dagger, it looks like. A long, right. thin blade. Right. Um, but that is the end of your turn. <sighs> It's Henry Clive's turn. No one's in his zone. Ugh, he's gonna head back. He's gonna head back this way. Zebulon, it's your turn. You know, Ganymede, after this is all done, I'm really gonna need some, some shooting lessons because <laughs> this keeps happening. Uh, <laughs> Uh, 
So I'm just going to shoot him again. One charge this time. Uh, One, Martin? Sh- yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, shoot Martin. Yeah, shoot Martin. Oh, come on. Come on. Can anyone tell me what it's like to roll under 40 in this game? <laughs> It's great. It's a it's a real treat. Would you like to re-roll that? Go for it. Uh, I might as well. Okay. Point. This is it. Come on. Manifesting success. Manifesting. Manifesting. Extreme. Manifesting. 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 Critical. Let's go critical. <laughs> Aim high. Oh my god. Very nice. But it is gonna, not a I failure. Gotta, I gotta aim so high. That, <laughs> that when you undershoot your manifestation, it's still a success. Okay, so the lightning damage. gun finally hits true into Martin. I feel like it hits like the shotgun and like travels up his arms and he shakes a bit. You see a bit of singeing on his flesh, but he is still very much alive. Great spits out some blood and like points at you. Uh, Children of the Sphinx. Uh, These two are, this one, the cat is going to move into this zone but can't do anything. And the vulture is going to move into this zone. And this one's, the jackal is going to move into this zone. No, no, sorry, the jackal. I keep forgetting. The jackal is going to release James Gardner one more time. Um, Don't make me do this. Don't make me do this, Lauren. Tommy, you have Don't to Don't make me do this. Don't luck put check. the hands of this man into my luck roll. You could crit it. <laughs> you critical, really could. Manifesting you could. critical if you, success. If you crit it, then he is free. <laughs> Manifesting critical. You heard what she said. She said critical, and he is free. Roll twenty. Are you listening? I love you. Roll twenty. I love Mm. you so much. Please. So many kisses for our baby. That's good though. That's really good. Again, he is not going in, but that is uh, the last of James Gardner's free lives. (laughs) So uh, he comes back. The front of him is drenched, and uh, something as he's getting pulled up is hanging off of his shirt, but it falls back in. It is like over, it's like over a foot long, maybe two feet. Great. I don't like that. I don't like it. That. I don't like that for some reason. I don't know why. Is the end of round five, everybody. Ganymede Graves. So let me just be clear here. If I want to move Uh into the next zone. Yeah. I cannot act in any way. Yes. Okay. Um, I can't imagine why I would do that. Um, Like there's literally no reason to do that. Um, So I will actually, you know what I'm going to do? I... Can you, I, I'm sorry to ask for clarification again, but spells across the barriers. No. You can't cast spells across the barriers. No. Or across the- Otherwise oh, okay. Omar would have been casting some spells. Okay. Um, then I'm going to- And you don't know it's there. I, I'm sorry, I don't mean the barrier. I mean between zones. Sorry. Oh, I'm, depending on the range. Okay. Like they have things like you've seen before rack and wither limb that are only 10 yards. So that's enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hmm. I, so I guess I can make the long range shot at him. Right. Mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. You're okay. looking for a hard. Okay. Um, that seems like, seems like a thing. You got this. You're so good at this. Look at that. Easy. Okay. Can you only shoot one or can you shoot two? Um, I, I, I guess I can shoot two now that that I think of it. Testing critical. Nice. See? So you just gotta eight. aim high and at least to land on the moon. Okay, he <laughs> he needs to 
he needs to try and dodge. He needs an extreme success, right? And a critical. He needs a, he needs a crit. Yeah. Um, but this is for his life, so. Manifesting critical failure. Yeah, me too. <laughs> just dodge. 101. So he has a 45. He needs a 1. He oh. got two ones. He did get... Oh, he has luck. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have luck. What are you talking about? He does. To save your own life. Yeah, he's going to use... Luck. He's not going to use it to make the, the thing. He's going to use it to save his life because he has exactly 30 luck. Yeah. But uh, he will have, what is it? He will have one hit point. Um, as at the last second, you see him like go down and then you see him, you know, yeah. take a breath. Uh, who? So no more luck for Mr. Martin. Irene. What you doing? Uh, I, hmm. There is no easy way to get to James. Well, can I, can I'm, I? You can that? skirt around. You can, can I move, skirt that? Yeah, okay. you can move anywhere in the zone. So, cool. yes. Yep, I am running to James. Okay, are you trying to free him? Yes. Okay, give I mean, me those. Same thing. Yeah, give me those three shots. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 him free. Regular, <gasps> extreme, oh. regular. Great. Yes, you do it. He's free. Oh, thank God. <laughs> he, he falls off <laughs> into I... your arms. And you see he's still, like, from the spell. Um, Oh, no, that was days ago. Never mind. But you can see the kind of marks from it. Um, yeah. Uh, upon him is it, it looks like it's difficult for him to see as he kind of like <laughs> like pulls himself up with your help yeah and as soon as as soon as he's like up she's starting to like the same way that yeah. when we originally tried to save him and i pulled his hand and went i'm pushing him yeah. <laughs> to head towards the exit uh -huh. go, go, go. Go, go. uh nigel joins the far zone Miss Graves, Zeb, trying to like You'd put himself Nigel. together. <laughs> Glad we were able to uh, get to you in time. Now uh, you're gonna want to get out of here. Uh, you'll find uh, Salim outside. Uh, uh, he's been pretty damn mm -hmm. useful. <sighs> Good luck. <laughs> in next turn, he will go. Uh, Omar's busy. But not for much longer. They don't have any food. Y'all didn't feed them anything. Rude. Uh, Martin, who has avoided death, is going to... Hold on. As, as may I... Can I speak? Yeah. So I... As he's getting up, I call out to him. I'll allow you to leave if you leave now. He, he stands kind of looking at you and you see like he's bleeding like from the chest, like his, his robes are like torn up and he uses the shotgun just to like help him stand up. And you see Ganymede making a cult check. Ooh. 37, I fail. Okay. Do you want to re-roll or use any luck? Nope. Okay, you see just like- Wait. Yes, I want to use five luck. Are you sure? Uh, I mean, only because I- No, no, I don't. Great. Uh, you see just the air around him seems to shimmer. 
Um, That's wonderful. Wonderful. I'm, I'm happy for him. Yeah, me too. Martin uh, retreats to the back zone on his turn. Charlie Rap. That's me. Bang, bang, let me in. I'm trying to cross the barrier. The, yeah, of course I let am. Me in. Okay, go for it. <laughs> let me in. And I'll use a reroll because I just wanted to be as whatever. Fuck. Come on. Terrible roll for the fucking barrier. Uh, it's a very big success. <sighs> to try to push through. Describe your emotions. Describe how this is happening to me as you're like right there and you can't reach them. You know in the movie when you like are on the other side of the glass and yeah. you can hear that pounding but you can't like the, the scream is like muffled. Like that's the vibe. Like Charlie is like both fists like throwing himself like like fucking like gonna break his hands on the barrier like trying to get through um and it's just like barely like a thud from the other side of him unable to get through the barrier henry ooh, he could use one of his other spells do i want to do that no i really like shooting you with the lightning irene but is it enough, you know? He's like, am I doing, am I doing enough? It's something he asks himself. He's trying to have himself. an existential crisis about his life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do am have I to enough? remember. Hold on, hold on. He might not be able to. Um, he's done it twice more. Hold on. He might be... No, no, he's out. And in fact, no, he can use his hit points though, which we love to see. Okay, he's done it twice, so I've got his magic points uh, dealt with. Get out of here. Great. Um, He can use his HP though which we love to see. Okay, it looks like it's an opposed power check. Irene, your favorite that you love doing that. On. It's really rude. Okay. <laughs> does he have strong will? Uh, she does. Not you, me. <laughs> I don't think so. No, he doesn't have a pulp talent. <laughs> He is powerful, though. After you. Okay. Power. Same role. Regular, regular success. Okay. Um, come on, Henry. Come on. Yes. I mean, no. What he could not do to you before, he does to you now. <clears throat> Intense racking pain seizes you as your face and hands begin to blister and your eyes cloud with blood and you are temporarily sightless. You are rendered completely helpless during the period of the spell's effect. It lasts three rounds and um, make a sanity check. Great, uh, so one, that's one point of sanity. <clears throat> and does Irene scream? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Charlie, you hear Irene scream behind you. Banging. Woo, okay, that also, that cost him. He's, he's not looking terrible, um, but he is basically using his, his physical self to cast these spells at this point. Hmm. It's going really well. Zebulon, you're up, buddy. All right. <clears throat> um. Hmm. Zeb's going to move up. Zeb's yeah. Move up his own. I love it. <laughs> Zed moves forward. And yeah, you all heard Irene 
scream yeah, out. I think Zeb hearing Irene screaming is Zeb's moving forward. <clears throat> We're not leaving them behind, Ganymede. Children of the Sphinx. Hey, Jim. Rerolls all around. One reroll for everyone. I'm logging them. Uh, yeah. The vulture is going to attack Zeb. With a with a stab of its beak. But we'll miss. <laughs> Zeb flips him the bird. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> incredible, incredible. Um, oh, damn. Okay. This... Crocodile is going to move into this zone. The cat is going to move over here, however, which is within the zone, however it happens. The cat and the jackal are going to grab Irene, or try to. They sucked before, so I'm going to give them uh, a bonus die. Ooh. 54, that is a regular success. Um, so ha if you would like to oppose this with strength, oh wait, no, you're completely helpless. I'm, I'm helpless. Uh, the first time it literally is just they grab you. luck. Yeah. <laughs> they grab you. You're grabbed. And folks, that's the end of round six. Ganymede Graves. All Ganymede can think is what it's going to do to Annabelle to lose both her and Zeb on the same day. And I'm moving up into the next zone. Okay. It's okay. I'll comfort her. Do you want to get between uh, <laughs> Zeb and the Vulture? You are... You are on my list, Miss Miss Summer. You are on my list at this point. Yes, I do. I want to. Your list of very close friends. My list of. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Nigel is out. Nigel's gone. He's out. He's free. Woo! We Ooh, did it, guys. Oh, you hear that? We saved one NPC. Yeah, yeah, the world is a much better place. Awesome. James is. He's gonna, he's gonna, what can he, he's not, he, ha, he, he's an archaeologist. Um, he's going to try to punch. That was Indiana Jones. He's not Indiana Jones. He's gonna try to punch one of them. He does it! He punches one of them. My oh. man. You know those punches in movies where it's like the person has never punched before and it's the most yeah. uncomfortable, awkward thing and they punch, but they do a yeah. great job and they're like, fuck, why did that hurt so yeah. bad? Yeah, I'm even going to say he grabs, it's a brawl check, so he grabs the cat off of you. Um, so you're only being held by one. It's completely helpless for this round, so you can't do anything. That's one round down. Round six. Omar El Shakti looks out at you, Charlie. Smiles. He uh, removes from uh, the sleeves in his robe a goblet and a knife. You see Ganymede and Zeb, all the cultists link in hands uh, as power moves through this place as he as he slices Agatha Broadmoor's throat and blood flows into the goblet
Is nope. that the end of his turn? <laughs> yes, it is. It's Martin Winfield's turn. Martin moves into the next zone with all these folks and his one hit point. Charlie Rapp, it's your turn. Trying to break through the barrier. Going in. Make a strength check. Hard success. Let me see what a hard success is for the barrier. It's an extreme success. Well, yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'll use 25 points of luck to make it a critical. Okay. Describe this moment to me. Breaking my body to get in. Yeah. Yeah. You push through much to Al Shakti's surprise. That is the end of your turn. Would you like to say anything? I I think um I think like as Charlie pushes through the barrier and like, I think like he is like almost surprised as well when he gets through. Cause it was like, it felt so futile and it's also too late to save Agatha. Like it's like those split seconds too late. I think he just kind of like that laugh that he, that he had when they were back in the bent pyramid when like he was faced with the decision of like going back to save Annie he just laughs like this kind of like unhinged like because it's always like too late you know it's always just like a little bit too late um yeah and he's starting like he's using that forward momentum to carry him towards Omar Al Shakti yeah it's Henry's turn Henry will be assisting the Jackal on the Jackal's turn with what it's going to do. Zebulon, Augustine, Claiborne, Montgomery the third. Yeah, um, so is this a set of stairs that goes down? It goes down and you see a, a pulsating ruby mist. Yeah, uh, can I grab this vulture and try and push them in there? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, do that. Please do that. I love it. All right. What do you want? A brawl check? Uh, or a... brawl or strength, whatever you like more. That's great. That's great. <clears throat> um, all right. Manifesting critical success. Manifesting. Regular success. So okay. Regular um, success. It's going to oppose you. Um, try to fight its way. Um, to not be thrown, but it fails. Get in Eat! there! Eat! Just get in! <laughs> it falls with a, a bird shriek and disappears into the mist below. You are effectively out of the game, buddy. Fantastic. Incredible. Unfortunately, however, the Jackal and Henry Clive throw Irene into the pool. Now this is what happens. You get to make a luck check. Great. Love so many rerolls for me. Yeah. Many. Okay. As you're thrown, you expect to feel the splash, but instead you hit something hard. Um, and you realize you are on a shoal very close, like within 18 inches of the water surface. 
uh, made of skulls and and bones. <sighs> like and Irina in the middle, you know, can't see. Just pure luck grabs onto something solid. This is so epic. <laughs> I'm so happy. You're alive. That's why I'm happy. Um, and now it is the top of round seven. Getting me graves, what do you do? I look back at, at Zeb one last time and I, and I say, I say, um, <laughs> I say, um, I, I, I think I, I actually grab you. I'm like, do you want Annabelle to lose us both on the same day? And I'm gonna push you, I'd like push you hard. Um, and I'm running forward. Okay. Beautiful. I like how you said that. <laughs> Irene, this is round two, being completely helpless on her shoal Whee! in the middle of, and you can hear the splashes around you that are growing in intensity. And it's Omar Al Shakti's turn. He's got the surprise Pikachu face on because I'm in here now. Yeah. What's up, my my guy? He looks uh, impressed. Uh, he looks down at Agatha's crumpled body. Thank you for your sacrifice, Miss Broadmoor. He turns around and pours her blood on the mummy, which begins to glow and pulse with life. And let me double check this. find one stat block in the 666 page book. There it is. Okay. As this happens, Zara, Shafiq finally looks up and looks at you, Charlie. And you hear in your head, let it happen. Let it happen and I promise you all Walk away from here. You live to fight another day. I can save you. And that will give me peace. That's what you hear. Uh, the pit. The denizens of the pit. can't reach you yet. I can just splish splash, it's fine. Uh -huh. you know, we don't we don't need to talk about <laughs> I don't need to talk about them. Martin is going to Yeah, yeah. Martin's gonna shoot at you. Um mostly to uh get the blood in the water kind of thing. Uh see if he can hit. He can, but he's, he's just like fish. shooting fish in a barrel at this yep. point. Yeah, like. there's no way to dodge or fight back. That's, so that's, that's four. As your blood hits the water and everybody who can see, now the water is churning. Charlie. He 
these things beside the mummy are braziers, no? Mm -hmm. On fire. Yeah. Great. Gonna try and catch the mummy on fire. Okay. Um, Gonna try and push one over onto the mummy. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. Uh, make a strength check, because I assume they're weighty. But it just needs to be a regular. So. I'll still use a reroll if I need one. Mm -hmm. Success. Great. You lift it up and, like, pull it over. And the mummy, you see the fire, but the mummy does not burn. The brightness of its own glowing surpasses that of the brazier's fire. Is there any change happening? Like, is anything else happening after he poured the blood on it? It's just glowing and like yeah. pulsating. Uh, the blood kind of got like into it. Okay. As you're watching. But now it, it is a light. It just doesn't seem like anything's- It's not burning away. It's like no. on fire, but not actually on fire. Yeah. Okay. Henry Clive, again, he's going to shoot at Irene. For six points of damage. These fuckers. Are you still conscious? I sure am. Zebulon, it's your turn. That, like, takes a moment to... to... Um, sort of register what Ganymede says. Both of us. I don't like how she said that. <laughs> um, and is gonna go chasing after Ganymede. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had to give him a more logical reason than that, Ganymede. <laughs> um, hey, and you get, he's like chasing, he's chasing after you. Hey, hey, yeah. no one's throwing their life away here. Especially you. Yeah. Uh, this BC moves into your zone, but can't do anything. Uh, oh, yes. James would have run into this zone, too. No! 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 Ah! He's, like, calling to you, Irene. Like, don't, you know, Buddy. don't move! I'll, I'll find a way! Oh, bud. It's too good for his own good. All right, so. Getting me graves, you're up. I'm. <sighs> what did Zeb just say? Nobody's. What did you say? What was it? Uh, nobody's throwing their life away needlessly. And today. I'm thinking to myself, Charles has thrown all of our lives away. Aww. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna shoot Martin. Yeah, shoot him. Uh, you need a hard. You And he has one hit point. He's gone. Um, him being gone, make another occult check. Alrighty. Uh, Critical success. <laughs> hard. Oh, fantastic. As he goes down, not, he's not even dodging. He's he's down. He was barely standing. Um, the a head around the altar and the throne. You see the same shimmer in the air as was on him. Hmm. Hmm. The barrier. Uh, yeah. I think with a hard success, you now recognize it as the barrier you create. Yeah. Yeah. And oh. now you can kind of like figure out in this moment as he dies and his magic leaves the barrier it has weakened mm, having cast I the see. spell so many times I see right okay yeah so there were they cast it together and okay great cool um 
I, with my movement, I'm going to get between the jackal thing or whatever it is and Zeb again. It's a cat. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Before Irene goes, it is Zara Shafiq's turn. Zara says, as she looks into the flames, Thank you for coming for me. And she takes the dagger in her hand and stabs it into the mummy. The glowing that was surrounding the mummy, even through the flames. I, at first you see Zara's hand like light a fire and begin to burn. But this glow that's brighter somehow growing in intensity proceeds up her arm until it encompasses her whole body. She writhes in pain Irene you got some health from Jim that is a d8 thank you Jim so go ahead and roll that so we know where you're at very nice And it is your turn. It is, you are still helpless on the shoal. Oh, I am staying so very still. <laughs> and Omar Al Shakti says, She lives again. He now free of what he was doing. Uh, his hands begin to glow kind of white hot as he uh, pushes them at you, Charlie, and the same lightning that has been going off, but a, a much more potent uh, version uh, heads towards you. Oh! Kind of pushes you back against the barrier again, but doesn't hurt much. Uh. Whew. Whew. Oh, wait. Thank you, Roll20. That was so sweet. That was so nice. Wait uh, one second. Okay. <laughs> okay, good, good. I don't know if I like that laugh. It's fine, probably. Martin is dead. Get out of here, Martin. Charlie, it's your turn. I think he like, cause Charlie's like eyes are just like so like fixed on Zara now, like mm -hmm. watching her stab down and he's just like, ugh, it's horrible. Um. So he like stumbles back like with this like push or whatever, but he like barely even registers that Omar touched him. Mm -hmm. um, and he's like making his way over to Zara because she's like in pain now, right? Yeah. 
it looks like she's like writhing as she's like yeah. glowing. Yeah. Um, and he just is gonna take his hands and put them on the sides of her face and like look at her. And um, I think like he just says like, I'm here, you know? Mm -hmm. Henry at Irene, six more points of damage. As you're shot on the shoal, where are you at? Uh, I'm at six. I'm still, I'm, Irene's a stubborn bitch. She's still all <laughs> up. Great. Zebulon. Man. Um, Zeb at this point sees the cat thing, creature. It's like, hmm. Well, it's as good a time as any to try this. And, uh, he pulls out the um, the sort of token that um, Wu gave him mm -hmm. um, and says I don't think you want to deal with us. Nice. Yeah. It, it, it kind of hisses at you but it doesn't advance on the two of you and you get the feeling that it won't. I don't think we have to worry about this one, Yeni. Let's just worry about getting our friends out of here. Uh, the other two will head into your zone. That's the end of that round. Ganymede. From where I'm standing now, mm -hmm. what can what can I see of the situation that Irene is in? Uh, Irene, you can see like her eyes all a puffy and like it looks like she she can't see. She's on a shoal that is a foot and a half above the water, and the water is churning around her. Can I can I get to it in any way? Yeah, yeah. Um, there are several uh, shoals um, that that you are able to see if you wanted to jump to her. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I would like to do that. Please. Okay, I will. I will allow it. As we'll say, yeah, it'll be part of that. Um, Do I, do I need to make a jump roll? Yeah. Or I guess, we can, I guess, we, yeah, go ahead. We can do it on this turn. Yeah. Okay. I will re-roll, which is even worse. Do you have any more? Re-rolls? Mm-hmm. You're at five. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, alas. Make a luck check. I can oh I can. Yes, I can, I can, I can, I can. Extreme success. You land on a shoal. You don't get to her, but you land on a shoal because that was that was that was close. Okay. Did I use three rerolls just then or two? Two. Let me update the two. But I can't. Reach I already her. updated it. Oh, thank you. So I'm I'm there. I'm on another shoal, but yeah. I can't reach Irene. Yeah. Okay. Between Ganymede and Irene's turn. All goes still. All the ambient noise, even the screaming. The only sound you hear is Zara Shafiq's sounds that at first sounded like pain and now 
sound like ecstasy. Until at last, she and Nitocris are one. She opens her eyes. They were already a striking green before, but now they glow. And she doesn't look at you, Charlie. She looks forward to Omar. Lower the barrier. And begin the call. I will deal with our guests. He obeys immediately the barrier drops. The children of the Sphinx who were closing in on your position, Zeb, uh, move away. One nearby offers her uh, another goblet, which she drinks from. As she ascends the throne, and all of you hear in your head, come to me. Uh, some of the children of the Sphinx uh, begin to move across the shoals, Ganymede, if, um, and go to almost, like, assist you out. Irene, they're going to lift you up, um, and carry you out. Uh, Ganymede, are you doing anything to stop this? How, how, how are you reacting? I, I... I will not let myself be like grappled or, or yeah. bound. Um, but if I see that Irene is safe. Mm -hmm. They're then... taking her off. They're not dumping her in. Yeah. Yeah. Then I will. I'll go with. Mm -hmm. uh, Zebulon, what about you? Um, Zeb's going to. Yeah. I mean, Zeb's going to go where his friends are going. So he will follow them over gingerly like mm -hmm. just kind of like looking at everything like still wary of being attacked but he's gonna go where his friends are what about charles yeah yeah he'll <clears throat> yeah he'll go up there uh one of the children of the sphinx uh kind of sets you down irene um, and you can feel your friends around you. If you follow these stairs up, they will take you back out. Or I can send you where you need to go. But you do not have long before it arrives. This ritual is not done 
but there was no stopping it now. What? Uh, an avatar. Blood will be spilt tonight, but it need not be yours. And after it has fed, he will arrive. And she kind of indicates the open space on the double throne next to her. graves I am giving you the opportunity to continue your journey because of the person who formerly inhabited this body. In thanks to her, do not spit on her sacrifice. I think at this point, Irene, whose sight is like slowly coming back, mm-hmm. but the world is still cloudy and still blurry. So she she reaches out her hands towards her friends. Um, I think one on Charlie's arm and the other on, on Ganymede's and kind of sliding across her back and kind of touching to where Zeb is. This is not our finish line. If anything, we've just made it past the ten yard. Sub's gonna nod. Ganymede, you can hear her teeth grinding. And and I, 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 I bring the, I bring the end of the shotgun up right at her. Zeb's gonna get in the way. <laughs> Now's not the time, Ganny. We lost this fight. And there's still a war to fight. Let's just get out of here. Zeb's gonna look at Charles. All of us. Which path will you take?
um, Charlie will just kind of look uh, at the others and just say, um, we should make sure that those the others who got out are all right before we go. I think the stairs. She nods. Well, much to do in so little time. And the rests, the rest of the robed figures uh, almost begin to hum as Omar and Henry begin to lead whatever this call is. You should go now. And one more thing from Miss Shafiq. All of you at the same time are kind of, your vision expands and you can see above this place, above the pyramids, you shoot through the sky eastward traveling across deserts and plains in Africa until you come to a huge, impossibly huge mountain, dark. And all of you, you don't know how, but you instinctively know how to get to the mountain. You know where it is. The one you saw long ago in a vision, Irene. That's the finish line. And do you know how to get there now? Do you ascend the stairs? I think we do. I think Zeb makes sure everyone, you know, heads up and, you know, make sure everyone's following through. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, Charlie lingers, you know, um, for a moment. But, yeah, we'll follow up the stairs. When you get out, it is still night, a dark one, as it is the night before the new moon. And you realize you are wherever you have emerged from is before the Sphinx at Giza. And that is where we're going to end this session of Masks of Nyarlathotep. Yay! 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 <laughs> All right, everybody. Wow, it happened. Let's go around to everyone. All, all of our survivors. Including your your beloved NPCs, Nigel and James, both saved. Two out of four. <laughs> True. Let's start with Tommy. Lead us I off. I can't believe we all didn't die. <laughs> I can't believe we survived as long as we did. Um. Like, I thought at least one of us was going down at some point during that. 
Um, it was we like, do have to thank chat close. for some of that. Yes. Uh, thank you, chat, so much um, for all your help in this. It was very much needed. Um, even if Roll20 does hate me. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. That was, oh boy, that was, oof. I need to process that one for a bit. Um, but a great session, and I can't wait to see. I can't wait for sort of the the come down from this next session mm-hmm. uh, for the characters, especially. Uh, but yeah, hi. Uh, that was great. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm Tommy. I'm paired to Penguin and Twisphere. Um, I do this every Saturday. Um, and uh, I do some video editing work. Uh, I have commissions open at the moment. If you are interested uh, in what I do, find the posted tweet uh, on my Twitter. Um, and yeah, I cannot wait for next Excellent. session. Excellent. Let's go over to Summer. Hi. Oh, boo. <laughs> boo. Boo this session. I was close. Boo, I say. I'm so angry. I'm so angry because I was literally like as the the time before I spent the luck to get through the barrier, I would have had to spend 32 luck, which would have put me at like 28. Oh, wow. 29 luck um, if I had spent the 32 the time before. And I was literally thinking, fuck, I should have spent it. I should have spent the luck. I just should have spent it like I should have spent it. Um, ugh, but it's always too little too late. But um yeah, what a great session. I'm Summer. You can find me on Twitter at Just a Summer Job. You can find me on Twitch at It's Just a Summer Job. I'm going to be streaming, I'm doing a subathon today. So, starting here in a couple hours, I'm going to have some lunch and probably take a nap and then start streaming. Um, so, um, and I'm raising money to buy a washer and dryer because I'm moving soon into a house. Ooh. Big girl purchase. Um, so, going to be gonna be so so stressful over the next couple weeks but this game definitely makes it better um i'll be back next saturday fuck fuck (laughs) that's it goodbye let's go up to allison i mean i don't know how to say it a whole lot better than that i hate losing i hate losing do you all know this about me like feels bad like i like allison genuinely like it's my thing. I hate losing. To be fair, you've never lost until now. I know, but it doesn't make doesn't mean I like it any better. <laughs> no, no, you're right. You're right. But I love, I love, love, love getting to play this game with these people and with all of you cheering us on and helping us out. It is, oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I, I, I can't wait for next week. There's going to be... There's going to be a reckoning, I think. I think there's going to be a reckoning. What if we're Charles? all just grateful for being alive? Yeah, yeah. If it weren't for me, she wouldn't have spared us. And that's all I'm going to say about that. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have needed sparing. And I'm done until next week, too. <laughs> we're all friends here. <laughs> we're all friends here. <laughs> Let's go over to Canada. You got anything? We lived, um, which is, you know, a better outcome than it could have been um and we're you know it was very possible that the campaign could have ended here uh and that's wild uh so the fact that we actually do get to do a completionist run and actually get to the proper end of the campaign is great news (laughs) Um, yay (laughs) yeah so we get to move on to to kenya last on our shitty Eldritch bucket list. Hell yeah. <laughs> we got to take off that last one. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to see what the aftermath of this will be and where we go next. Well, we know where we go next. We go to Kenya. Uh, but what happens there, we don't know yet. So that'll be for next time. But until then, you can find me over on Twitter at Kenna S. Best way to figure out what I'm doing. Um, again, I am available for work. Please, if you're interested in that, I am. I, I like to write stuff sometimes, um, and uh, yeah. And check out Archon, a cyberpunk setting book by Metal, uh, published through Metal Leaf Games, co-written by me and good friend of the channel Jason, um, because it's a cool book. But uh, let's move over to you, Lauren. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hmm. I'm Lauren. 
Yeah, I, I run I run this game. I'm the keeper. You might know me from that. Uh, that's all I have to say. I'm anxious to get uh, into our kind of after after show uh, decompression. And I, I love this session. I've been like buzzing thinking about it. And it was everything I, I hoped it would be in terms of the danger and the emotions. Um, very, very pleased. We'll be back next week, I think, to see what what happens. What is the fallout? How do we move forward? Very exciting. Um, yeah, thank you to our sponsors, Roll20 Dice Having Grand and Coffee Co. Uh, if you ever miss an episode, you can catch up on the YouTube, Salty Sweet Games. Uh, we're on Twitter at Salty Sweet Games. We'll be back next Saturday. We're gonna go raid a friend. Wave bye, everybody. <gasps> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>